Hey y'all and welcome to Bonner's Market and welcome to the Craft Room Organization Challenge. Now this challenge is right up my alley. I love to organize things and as you'll see in this video, I love to organize them by color. Why? Don't ask me. I don't know, but I do it all the time. This is being hosted by the beautiful Miss Sammy over at Unicorn Dust Designs. And she has a couple of co-hosts. Her first co-host is the hilarious and talented Indy Annie Jones. And if you have never visited her channel, do yourself a favor and go over there. She is not only talented, but she will keep you in stitches. And then finally, we have Simply Roots, Simply Living. All three of these ladies are very talented. And I am so honored to be able to participate in this challenge with them today and there's also going to be a playlist down in my section in the description section where you can go follow and watch everybody else who's going to participate in this and I can guarantee you you're going to learn a lot of tips and tricks today about how to get your craft room organized now whether it stays organized or not is up to you because while mine is clean for this video, I can guarantee you it is not clean like that all the time. I can go out there and make a super simple little craft and destroy my whole craft room. But anyway, hopefully you'll learn something from this today. You make sh <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got choked up on nothing. So make sure you follow that playlist because you're going to get tons and tons of ideas how to get your craft room organized and... If you are not subscribed to my channel and the rest of these ladies, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us all a big thumbs up and leave us a comment. We all like to engage with you and talk to you and let us know what you think. Here we go. Now I'm going to start as if I were walking into my door of my craft room and just show you three quick shots of kind of the whole room. This is where you walk in to the right, right here by that real colorful thing in the bottom right corner. There's a bathroom behind there that my husband put me in. He's a plumber, so it comes in handy for stuff like that. Now, there's junk all in front of the door that I have to move to get to it, <laughs> but to, that's beside the point. As you walk a little further into the room, this is what you will see. Now, this is an old 30 two, I want to say, year old shed that he insulated and put some walls up and got it all fixed up for me. He was about to tear it down and I was like, no, I need a craft room. So he went out there and he done the most beautiful job in my opinion. And I love my craft room. And this is a shot as if you were turned around walking back out the door. I don't know if you can see on the sort of almost the top right, that black curtain. That's the door that is there. The sun is so bright here in Florida, and that's a glass door. So I have to kind of keep that thing up to just to keep it cool in the summer and warm in the winter, which we really don't have winters here. But anyway, that's a general overall look of my craft room. Now, this is an actual video from the beginning to the end. And I'm going to show you the whole room. And then I'm going to show you some different things that I do for organization. My pegboards back there behind my desk. My husband bought me these two desks last Christmas. Not the one that just passed, but the one before. And I love those pegboards. Now, I'm probably going to have to take my beach theme stuff down because I'm running out of room. Now, that is a vinyl tower that I made. I will link the description to the video for that. It's actually the very first video I ever loaded up into YouTube. That dresser is full of stuff. This is where I have my paints, my flowers. I do a ton of different crafts. I love making tumblers. These are my tumblers right here that I have just waiting to be done. Some epoxy that I've got right there. And under that cabinet is where I keep a lot of my embroidery stuff because I like to do embroidery too. As you can see my embroidery thread up there in color. Those are some of my um, 
molds and just different things I have in there to do my different crafts. I've got some t-shirts there, all kind of chemicals, some ribbon, my cups, just a little bit of everything. Now there's the bathroom door right there that you can see I have to move stuff to. That's where I keep my Cricut mats hung. Inside there is all of my embroidery stuff, most of them. That's a another little shelf thing that he bought me a couple of Christmases ago. But that is a shoe rack right there with my extra vinyl in it. And that come in really handy for that. And then I just have just miscellaneous stuff in this basket here. When I buy some stuff, I come in and kind of throw it in there until I have time to go back through and reorganize it. Now, this I keep my acrylic paints in. I got this from Home Depot. No, 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 no. Walmart. Probably three years ago before I really got into all this crafting. As most of you know, I've only been on YouTube for a couple of months. I'm really trying to build my subscribers. Um, but that I got from Wal Walmart. This I made myself. Me and my husband made this. Again, there's a video that I'm going to link to show you how you do this if you need some storage. Now, this spins, and man, is it convenient to spin. I'll tell you what, I don't have to try to get behind it or pull it out or do anything. My husband put it on a Lazy Susan at the bottom, and I just spin it. Of course, it's organized in color, and... This is where I keep my paints inside there. I keep some of my extra cups that are not in boxes also in there. And I bought this, I want to say, on Marketplace for about $10. A lady was throwing it out, and I was like, my heavens, for $10, I'll take it. And it came in handy for putting my paints and my extra tumblers in. And I love that I can look through it and see what color paints I have in there. Makes it easy when I'm looking for one to just go grab it. Now, this is those two things that he bought me for Christmas um, Christmas before last. There is so much storage under there. Those drawers right there are humongous. Those, I think, were originally $100-something, and he got them on clearance for $49. So, he got two of them, and I'm so glad he did. I love, love, love them. They are super sturdy, heavy-duty, and they're perfect for having all my stuff. This is where I do my cup making. I have my four turners. I just ordered a couple more turners because I'm really doing a lot of cups lately. I don't know if you can see it right there in the back left, but there's a little mini press. That's the little teeny tiny one that Cricut makes. I've got two of the big giant heat presses that you saw a minute ago. That teeny tiny one, and then I have the big one that they make that they also make now me and my husband made this blue shelf right here and i'm so glad we did when he said it i thought oh that's just gonna be big it's gonna be in the way it's gonna be bulky but man oh man i've got some t-shirts in there i've got all of my paper in there i mean he's a genius y'all i cannot say enough good about him then I have my mats and my rulers hung up on the side of it, and it just keeps me so organized. And I love, love that I gave in and let him build me this shelf. Now, those are my two heat presses right there. The black one has all kind of connections that I've never used to it. You can do plates, and you can do tumblers, and you can do hats, and all kind of stuff with it. But there's my Explore Air 2. And then I have the maker, and then there's my embroidery machine. Those get lots and lots and lots of use. Those are my, a little bit of my glitters that you can see up there. There you go. You can see a little bit more of it like that. Now, those are 25 feet. So, I have 75 feet of glitter shelving. And you want to guess what? I got glitter I can't even get on the shelf. So, there's sort of a panoramic view of that, of course, kind of done in colors, but I love my glitter. I I think I bleed glitter. I really do, but I love to glitter everything. I even glittered my scooter, y'all. I have a really, really bad back and glittered my scooter. This is my embroidery thread again. 
all done in colors, and it keeps me so incredibly organized. I bought that, I want to say, for maybe $10 off Marketplace, but you can get them at Walmart or Joann's or Michael's or anywhere. I want to say they run about $30 or $40, so I did get a good deal whenever I found mine. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... I love that I can keep them all right there. I don't have to go digging for anything. And I wanted to kind of go in a little bit closer on the glitters to give you a little bit better look at these shelves. This is a one by three. So these shelves are three inches deep. And that's about the perfect size for these bottles that I use. Now I get my bottles from a little bit of here, there, and everywhere. Some of the glitters actually come and bottles from the different places that I get them from. And I order my glitters from several different places. I have some favorites that I will not name in here because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But these were taken before I finished filling up that shelf right there. But that shelf, I can guarantee you, is full. And if I had two more shelves and room for them, I could fill every single one of them up. Y'all, I'm not kidding. I love me some glitter. And I use them. I do use all of them. Now, my alcohol inks, this is just a few of them. I couldn't figure out what in the world I was going to do to organize those things and make it easy to get to them. But my handy dandy Dollar Tree, I love me some Dollar Tree. I use these little plastic shelves right here. They are a dollar. You're looking at four of them right here. And that's got all of my alcohol links in there. And I also use those for my, my essential oils. I am real heavy into essential oils. And those little things are perfect to keep my, my essential oils in. So... Dollar Tree has the most amazing things to help you get organized. So go grab you some of those from the Dollar Tree. Now these, I want to say I got them from either Dollar Tree or Walmart. But that's my little tassels for my keychains because yes, I make keychains. I make the acrylic ones and I also make the epoxy ones. And here's just, I wanted to show you. Once I got to looking at this, I'm like, my Lord, everything is done by rainbow colors. And there's just a couple of little things, dish and a little heart that me and my granddaughter made that I thought I'd throw in there. Because I don't know what it is about a rainbow, but I love all the colors in the rainbow. I, I'm just a colorful person. And look at here. Same story. You can get this cart right here in every color imaginable. But what do I pick? The bright rainbow. I just love it. I love, love, love it. I even dress in bright colors. That in there holds all of my, most of my embroidery things. So that's where I keep all of my stuff for embroidering organized. And I love that little cart. I love, love, love it. Now these are two glass jars from the Dollar Tree that I keep my mica powders in. Now, these mica powders right here, I bought a set of 30 of them. So, there's 15 in one jar and 15 in the other. And then I gave you a little side shot of this, again, to show you the little shelves down in there. That's where I keep my different stains and stuff that I paint with. And there's, you know, some little drying racks for my, my tumblers that I make. And that shelf right there... We got out of the trash on the side of the road, and I ain't ashamed to say it. There's the shelf again that my husband bought me a couple Christmases ago. That shoe rack. I actually have two of those shoe racks. I have one holding my extra vinyl, and I have one holding some of my tumblers that I have made. And either they're not finished, or they they were finished, and I just haven't tried to put them online to sell them or whatever. But it's perfect for holding things like that keeps you super duper organized and I don't know why I'm showing you that card again maybe I just like the color of it who knows <laughs> but anyway as you can see this is pretty well organized and most of it is from the Dollar Tree other things we have made and I absolutely love it if I was not organized in there, y'all, I couldn't function. I couldn't do anything. I would be a nervous wreck trying to find my stuff. So 
keeping a good, clean, organized craft room is essential. Now, like I said a few minutes ago, it doesn't stay that way. And it gets messy as soon as I do even the simplest of projects. But you got to go behind yourself and keep it clean. Keep it organized. Shelving, wonderful idea for organization. And then the buckets from the Dollar Tree, the little clear ones. Now, this right here is what I used to keep my glitter on on a shelf. And I love those things. Of course, it comes from the Dollar Tree. So whenever my husband built me my shelves for my glitter and I took the glitter off of these stands right here, I was able to use those in my kitchen now. And that's what I put my canned goods in in my kitchen. And I don't know why I'm showing you that again. But anyway, there you see, once again, all the rainbow colors that I am totally obsessed with. But anyway, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I've showed you something that will help you in getting yourself organized. And I'm going to leave you with this one last little view of my craft room and how it's all organized. And hopefully, taught you a little something. Be sure you go to that playlist and watch everybody else in there. And make sure you leave us all some thumbs up and comments and subscribe, definitely. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to me and everybody else. And I can guarantee you, you will learn to make some things that will save you tons and tons of money in the end. My name is Brenda Cochran. And this is Moner's Market, and I want to thank again Unicorn Dust Designs, Indiana Jones, and Simple Roots, Simple Living. And I do apologize for messing your name up in the beginning. I said Simply Roots, Simply Living. It's not. It's Simple Roots, Simple Living. I want to tell you that so that when you go to find her, you can find her. And be sure to go down and watch that playlist. Thank you again for coming. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you soon.